Hello folks and welcome to DCS. I apologise for the window is out of focus, annoying screen. But this really is just to show you the frame rate when using the OpenXR toolkit in a situation where it's busy. And I mean it's very busy right now. Um, this is the start of a strike mission that I recorded. Well, I didn't record it, I just basically saved the track. And it's no other than Balgeode's Save the Cows mission. <laughs> I'm going to do a proper uh, video on this at a later date. But I thought I could show you just from the performance perspective of what it feels like uh, with the Reva G2. This is my OpenXR toolkit settings. Notice I'm now using the NIS Scaler because it works thanks to the latest update which I think is version 1.1.2 oh it says it there look 1.1.2 and uh, I've got fixed favorited rendering uh, enabled as well oh it's such a cool tool this is it really is it's transformed you know not just Microsoft Flight Simulator but DCS as well there's just something about being in this incredible cockpit with that bubble canopy and seeing the world go by even taxiing is quite an amazing feeling you can see here we're getting yeah 60 frames per second right now and that is whilst recording as I've mentioned before so it just shows you that the OpenXR toolkit really is worth its weight in gold anyway let's enjoy the Hercules takeoff and then we'll go back and enjoy our own takeoff Okay, so here we go then. The Hercules seems to take quite a while to get airborne there. So as I say, you're looking at the VR mirror image so you can see the frame rate of the OpenXR toolkit. That's the idea. Wow, look at this. Oh, it feels so smooth. Incredible. Bit of a flyby view here. I tell you what, the G2 sounds so good in DCS, well in anything really, with that floating ear design it's the best in the business. We've even got some viewers involved in action today. So really folks, this is just a showcase to show you the performance. If you'd like to see the full mission, please do let me know in the comments and I'll gladly show the whole thing as a full on video in DCS. Because there's going to be more DCS content on the channel by popular demand without a doubt thank you so much for watching folks and i'll see you again very soon bye bye for now